Hey guys, welcome back to the second part of how to make a game like Epic Mini Games. And today I will be showing you how to make it so that the players actually teleport to the map. So go into your game handler script and go to where we left off. So after clock dot value, just put wait one and drop two lines. Then we'll do Local map name equals to map map colon find first child name. All right, so for this to work, we actually need to go into our maps, go into our maps and insert a string value. So maps and server storage maps folder, insert object into map one and let's put a string value, rename it to a name and set the value to whatever you want it to be. So we'll just put this to gladiator, gladiator. Then we'll just um, do the same thing for map two. So string value, rename it to a name, and we'll just put it to trafficking trouble. Okay. All right. So now this should be working for now, but it won't do. It won't teleport the players yet. So then we'll do. Oops, my bad. Hold on. We were actually supposed to do after the wait one. Here, just cut out this. After the wait one, drop down after the end and put another wait one. And we. Wait, actually, no. Hold on. Let's just go back. Don't do this. Don't do this, guys. Alright, so leave it how we had it before. Alright, then we have to do if map name, then. Alright, then clock dot value equals clock dot value equals the mini game is do this and we'll do space concatenate map name dot value okay so then after this we do wait one all right go after the end and we'll do wait one clock dot value equals to loading mini game so clock dot value equals to loading mini game okay and then we'll drop two lines and we will do local new map local new map whoops map new map colon clone New map equals map equals map 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 colon clone. Drop another line. New map dot parent. New map dot parent equals to game dot workspace. Drop down and new map dot name equals to map okay drop down two lines wait two and we will do drop down another two lines clock dot value equals to teleporting players all right so now this is where it happens we have to do if new map colon find first child. So if new map colon find first child 
player spawns. Make sure just the exact same as this. So let's just go copy the player spawns name and just paste it into here. Whoops, wait, what the heck? Copy and let's paste it into here. All right, just to make sure. Then we'll do for I comma V in pairs game dot players game dot players players colon get players do local character local character equals to workspace equals to workspace colon find first child v dot name then we'll do drop down if character then if character then local root equals character local root equals character colon find first child and we'll do humanoid root part if root then local spawn id equals math dot random local spawn id equals math dot random one comma hashtag new map dot player here thing dot player spawns colon get children brackets we don't need anything in those brackets we're just telling it that that's something that roblox built in okay now let's do local spawn Spawn object equals to you no. Know, let's just make this shorter. Let's just do spawn obj equals to new map dot play dot player spawns colon find first child spawn concatenate spawn id okay and now here is how we teleport them if spawn object then root 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 dot position equals to spawn spawn object dot position okay and that should be it we should get teleported now let's see if this works All right, wait for the countdown. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Selecting a mini game. A mini game has been selected. The mini game is Gladiator. Loading mini game. Oh, it works. All right, well. So yeah, that's how you make them teleport there. And that will be it for today's video. So if you enjoyed and this helped you out, please remember to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye.